Okay, so I don't usually do videos this way. I don't start them this way, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to recite the five rules of shaving as given to us by the Lords of Shaving. They are one blade, no pressure, quality lather, deft hand, be smart. I'm going to break rule five. <clears throat> what I have here is the cap from AmeriCorps 15C, which is an open comb razor. The bottom of that razor is here. I have the handle that I bought to use with my double open comb Yachi melon head, which is here. And I have a fresh Voshod blade, which you can verify. Hopefully you can see that. You can verify that there. This combination of components was important because that allows me to turn this razor into what is sometimes called a devet, a double edge vet, vet from Shavet, right? So I'm really breaking rule five. Now, what I have done to try to compensate is I've got basically a layer of magic blue, which is my own DIY pre-shave, right? And then um, a layer of this soap that I really like, which is I found is actually great for as a pre-shave, but it's also kind of goes on as a kind of a thick layer. And then I put on more magic blue on top of that. And I'm brushing some water into what is a thin layer of Parasso white from a can. And now I'm going to put on a little bit more of this because it's, it's a beautiful thick foam, right? And I'm just going to spread this on. So regardless of the outcome, I will be posting this video even if I give up at some point. I saw Geo Fatboy do something similar a couple weeks ago, and I just haven't been able to get it out of my mind, right? It's just been stuck in my brain. So I'm gonna give this a go. So there's no safety bar, there's no comb, there is just blade. I'm using the Voss because it's the smoothest blade that I have, I think. All right, here we go. So, no pressure, <laughs> right? And deft hand, right? No pressure and deft hand are gonna be extremely important here. I have a stick stick tick pencil ready to go. I don't have any bandages, but hopefully I won't need those, hopefully. No more delaying, let's go. Let us begin. doing my very best to ride the cap all the way up. I'm not gonna talk about how this feels too early. Cause while I'm not generally I mean, I shouldn't talk too much either. While I'm not generally a, a um, superstitious person, I don't want to jinx, jinx myself either.
I do not recommend that anyone try this. I can't stop you. But let me go on record again as saying, don't do this. I'm going so slow that everything's drying up. As you can see, I'm not doing my usual shave here. I just don't have the stones to do that. I'm no geo fat boy either.
couple little weepers. It's a, uh, how should I say this? It's a <laughs> pretty close shave in most places. I think the most important thing here is going to be slickness. And there was still plenty of slickness underneath from the magic blue, which is just a combination of oils and some of that soap. Should I do this? Well, I'm here. I'll have the confidence to do it on that side. It's a little bit of a different proposition when you're doing backhand. It's right here though. It's a weird experience overall, but also being able to see the backside of the blade like that. You know what? Magic blue.
That might have been all I needed all this time. It's a little stressful. <laughs> That did not sound or feel good. I have a feeling there's gonna be a scratch there. So this, does this, yep. So does this technically still qualify? as a safety razor now at this point. Okay, that's it. I believe I'm done. Um, to be completely honest, <laughs> this is not the worst shave I've ever had. The first time I tried it, the first time I tried a safety razor was with that Wilkie Wilkinson, and that was actually worse than this. can't believe I'm at 18 minutes already. Holy crap. I thought by cutting out all the nonsense that this would go faster, but I guess I was going slow enough where that wasn't the case. All right. And lately, using the alum has been the most amusing part of any of my shaves, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. No! <laughs> So I think Uncle Lori, yeah, it was definitely Uncle Lori. And on my last shave, he commented that it looked like that when I was putting on the alum, that must have been a nine out of 10 on the pain. Well, this is a 10 out of 10. So when Geo Fatboy did this, he made it look so easy. And I think he even did it with a feather blade. And no pre-shave. Just his normal everyday shave. Just his normal everyday shave with no safety bar. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, obviously, I'm going to be using some post-shave products, but um, I hope you, uh, I hope your week has been going well. Um, if you liked this video, why wouldn't you? Um, I hope you'll hit the like button, maybe share it with somebody. Of any video I've made, this is like maybe one that's worth sharing with like a, a you could probably turn it into a meme or something. Um, <laughs> I just need a styptic pencil made into the size of an alum stick. Yes, that way I can do my whole face more efficiently. But uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I will again recite the five rules of shaving just to reaffirm to myself that I should follow them in the future. Like one blade, no pressure, quality lather, deft hand, be smart. This is the way. This is the way. Thanks. Bye.